good morning everybody and welcome to another how to and review in this case or in this review we'll be taking a look at the hallmaster swing away trailer jack for a trailer i um, went ahead and picked this up at my local harbor freight to install on our new trailer so i thought i'd do a quick little review on this to see how this works um, before we get started let's go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for future content if you haven't already so as I mentioned, I picked this up, I think this was uh, somewhere in the mid-30s as far as price range goes. Um, I used one of those Harbor Freight coupons. Uh, I think it was 20% off to get this down a little bit further. Um, so relatively affordable for what it is, uh, which is a jack you can hop onto a trailer. So it's not just a regular jack, um, like a bottle jack or something like that. You can pick it up for 20 to 30 bucks. So let's go ahead and tear this open to see what you get. Now, there's a lot of different types of jacks you can get for a trailer. There's ones that you weld on, um, ones that are very specific purposes. This one, obviously, uh, is good for utility trailers. Anything with a tongue um, that you're going to lift up to support the weight of your trailer. So maybe you bought a trailer that didn't have one of these, or maybe yours is worn or broken out and you need to replace it. Um, this would be an option you could look at. So start out right away, one thing I like, it's a big six inch wheel, um, pretty good size. It's not some kind of little knobby wheel, which is good to see. Uh, it's actually kind of nice that they went ahead and zip tied everything you need right with it. Sometimes it's in some pocket of the container and you have no idea where it went to. So that's pretty good so far. Let's go ahead, cut this open and see what we got here. Here's our hardware, here's our instructions. See what we have in here. So we have our four different lead bolts and these are going to attach probably most likely either to here or here uh, depending on the size of your trailer. Uh, we have a piece here and a piece here. This looks like this is probably just the handle. Uh, at least this piece is here. Ah, you know what? This is going to be pretty straightforward. This, one of these guys in here, are these all the same? Ah, here we go. So what this is going to be, most likely, is your connector for your wheel. So we're going to take this off, connect this up. This is actually pretty intuitive overall, <laughs> of course. Actually, let's do this. Put that in our wheel. Put our wheel through connect that out the other side if you can see that and you can see this is a a lock bolt so there's no need for a washer um, and there we go and that's gonna hold your bolt in a little bit of play now of course we're gonna tighten this up some more um, there's some uh, thread locker in there to keep it stable and this is gonna flip over like this Oh, here's a parts list. Actually, this is actually really good that they have a parts list in here in case you need to ever replace anything, which is actually kind of nice. You know, I've never, I should say never, but you rarely see this type of detail. Uh, actually, this is actually half a decent for an assembly guide as well too, because you could literally, as I'm looking through here, um, just double check to see, well, it looks like I show you the detail of exactly where they want their washers. I think these can be in the outside. Yep, you can see right here. Uh, you're just going straight with the bolt. And then these are going to be on the other side. So overall, this is uh, pretty straightforward. I, I know, buddy. Um, so let's go ahead and get this installed. Alright, so here we are at our tongue for our trailer. Now, we want this as close to here as possible because of leverage. This will allow us to lift up better. Um, see, I already have this. They give me this at uh, Harbor Freight when I bought my uh, trailer. Um, and according to documentation, which I was reading, which makes sense, is you are going to want to allow this uh, to rotate one, basically both ways. Um, so we can either rotate this way or the other. 
uh, depending where it's at. There's my little trusty sidekick, Maverick. Um, as far as location and where you're going to put it, um, I don't want to cover up my warning labels and everything over here. The other side is just the manufacturer sticker. So it's going to make sense to put it over there. Um, I don't want to go too close, obviously, to here because then it can interfere with the turning radius. So you kind of want to find that balance. So I think the best area is probably going to be right along here. Um, so let's go ahead and get this in. Now it is a little heavy, so you might... Doesn't hurt to have another person, but you can do this yourself, which is what we're going to do. We're just going to slide this in here, slide this in here. And we're going to do the same thing for underneath. You see what I'm doing there? Sliding. And of course, I'm going to do this by hand, but eventually we're going to tighten this up. Now, as you can see right off the cuff, I have this too wide, right? So let's move this a little bit closer so we can get a little bit of a tighter mount to here. Because the less play we can have, the more secure this is going to be. Just keep in mind while you're not driving with this, you are supporting with this, right? Okay, we can go ahead and we can put our brackets over top. There we go. Alright, so at this point, we can go ahead and put these in. You're always going to put in your oops washer that's going to want to roll away of course which it just did <laughs> uh in first whenever you're putting a washer and a lock washer in uh what this does this forms that bridge what this is for in just case you're unaware um you see these little ridges on the end of this lock washer that is going to help prevent uh your nut here from rolling off. It's not going to absolutely prevent it. Uh, long term use, we actually may go ahead and put some thread locker on here just to be extra safe, but it helps to deter that. Maverick's over there keeping guard for us. Hey, Maverick, are you guarding for us? Matt? Are you guarding the entrance for us? You are? That's, that's a good boy. You want to see what I'm doing? What I'm doing? Yeah. You want to say hi to the people? All right. So let's go ahead. We got that on. We can finally let go and release our arm and figure out where our little wayward washer went to. Oh, there he is. All the way back there. Did you have a nice little adventure there, little buddy? All right. Let's go ahead and get our last lock washer on and get our last two bolts on. Awesome. <laughs> I know people are watching me. Put a little bit of hair into this bowl. Like, what, Brian? What are you doing? Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of bolt thread on there. All right, so this is pretty darn secure. I know, right? Um, so what we would do, now we have this on, you can see here's our haul master jack on our carry-on trailer. Um, this is just going to go through there. Let's go ahead and just put that on real quick. You know, I don't like how that sticks out though, but... Eh, unless there's a better way to do that, if you could tell me in the comments, that would be good. Um, you know, the one thing I wish this had, just looking at it now, is maybe a handle. I know like on my motorcycles, for example, right? Um, see, there's a kickstart there. It flips in and out. It's almost tempting to run to the store to see if I can find kind of something similar for, for this. I think it would work better, you're right. But basically, you're gonna pull this. This is gonna allow it to turn. This goes ahead and jumps our wheel. It's gonna lock it in. And now if we wanna raise this, we just go ahead, we start turning this. <laughs> you can see we're turning the wheel. Let's hold that straight. Now watch this, Maverick. We are lifting up our trailer. Look at that. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's not as cool as I thought, Dad. Well, you know, you're, you're, it's difficult to impress you, buddy. 
All right, well, so that was relatively easy. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up um, and look up the spec rating as far as what we're supposed to torque this to, if there's anything. So let's go take a quick look at the manual to double check that. That's pretty, that works pretty neat, huh? I know. All right, so looking through the manual, these are these need 25 to 30 pounds of foot torque or pounds on top of each of these. Um, and in case I didn't mention this yet, this is an 18 millimeter socket. So first let's go ahead and finish this off and get this hand tight. And I need to secure it. I just grabbed my, I have an 18 millimeter inside, but I only grabbed my socket sets i just grabbed my adjustable wrench just to hold it and let's just go ahead and get this hand tight first obviously 25 to 30 pounds is not a lot so you don't want to put too much on this just yet there we go all right so these are on nice and secure for the most part i would feel pretty good about that but let's make sure that these are two spec right Let's get out. This is my Capri torque wrench, which I featured in another video. So what we do, you always leave these neutral when you're not using them, is we're basically just gonna turn this. Ooh, this one actually, the very minimum is 30 on this. Well, found my adapter. I figured we'll have we the adapter from inside. Might as well go ahead and just grab the actual socket that I need off my deep impact set. So here's our 18. Let's go ahead and put that in. We have this set. Sanity check it. We're at ready tidy. Okay, let's go ahead and put this to 30 pounds. So you are going to need to get this to the actual, because you're not going to be able to secure it there with that ridge there. Now, good news is. You can see if you just hand tighten these, how much more? Oh, you hear that? There we go. We just hit 30 pounds. So you do take a couple more. Now I could tell you how many more I needed after I stopped, right? But that's my strength. So when I start feeling real resistance, it's gonna be different than yours. So I see some people. There we go. We just hit 30. One more time. Yeah. Okay, so we're at 30. And I'm actually on the high end, so I'll stop at the one click. You could theoretically go to two. But, and I'm on the very low end of the spectrum, which means the accuracy on this is, is not probably only 95%. Because you obviously don't want to go too late. There we go. Just hit it. And this stuff is so important. I think people overlook the torque rating. Um, and on some things you can get away with it. Don't get me wrong. I think you're fine. You know, if you are obviously on the road, you're changing a quick tire. I'm having trouble finding my, my bolt there. Where are you, little wayward bolt? But uh, if you're just changing a quick spare, obviously you're not going to have a torque wrench. Automotive doesn't give you a torque wrench, but um, just because you put your spare on, they're, when, they, when they put change your tire for you or fix it, they're going to do a torque assessment. Now, if you don't take it to a tire place, and you do it yourself or you plug it later, you definitely, when you put it back on, you definitely want to use a torque. Um, I worked at dealerships for a number of years. And I remember one time they didn't use the right torque spec on a tire. Guy was driving his brand new Lincoln Continental. And um, as he's driving, he had the pleasure of seeing his tire flying in front of him off the vehicle. So 
uh, these specs are important. So there we are, 25 foot pounds. Um, overall, I think this is actually a nice little jack. Um, this operation works well. Two things I think they can improve. I wish this was a swing away. Um, I'm actually gonna see if I can find something at Lowe's or Home Depot or maybe online that allows me to uh, swing this over. I'll secure this a little bit better later. Um, but, you know, it's just a handle for the most, I just don't want this dropping down and dragging it. And the other thing I was thinking too, which I do not 100% like about this, and I was grabbing, I do not see it now, oh, here we go, is if I go ahead and lift this up, right, this is still kind of loose. I don't see a way to really lock this. It'd be good if there's a locking mechanism for this, or, I mean, what I'll do for now is when I cinch this, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take a bungee cord, wrap it around, just to keep it in place. So that, if you see what I'm saying, when the handle's lengthways like this, um, that way this thing is just not just gonna go flopping down and just hitting every, every speed bump and everything that I'm flying around. Um, I wish there was a way to secure that. So if you're watching Hallmaster, uh, maybe that's one upgrade as a way to secure this in, unless I'm missing that. I mean, who knows, maybe that's what this is here for. Uh, I didn't see anything come with it, but it looks like you could use that maybe. Um, but overall, I'd say it's a pretty good buy for I me mean, for less than 30 bucks, which is what I paid for with the coupon. Can't go wrong with it. Uh, I do like the, how big this wheel is. Um, lifting it up, that was really effortless, getting this up off the ground. And this does, I, I left the motorcycles on to show what kind of weight it can lift up and down. Um, Cause this is a pretty light trailer, which I, I, I could lift this up myself. I didn't really need this, but I could not lift this up with the motorcycles on. Um, and this lifted it up really, really well, um, which is awesome. So now I can reattach this to my car um, so I can go ahead and get these off. Uh, oh, that's actually one um, safety note too with the, uh, uh, I'll probably cover in another video too, but um, yeah, you don't want to un, uh, you generally don't want to take stuff off of a not tied, a, a trailer not attached to your vehicle because your vehicle is holding this secure. Um, if I went ahead and rolled these out the back, this could probably flip backwards, which would be dangerous, but um, overall, I think it's a pretty good buy. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, or maybe you found something that's a little bit better or something that has a lock mechanism for about the same price, yeah, feel, go ahead and feel free to leave that comment in there. Um, if you see anything that I did wrong, I am an amateur, I'm no professional by any means, uh, go ahead and leave a comment there for other people watching this too. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and click like and subscribe for future content. It really does help out the channel. And um, I try to upload as often as I can. And uh, we hope to see you again in a future video. But until I, until I do, get out there, make your own great outdoor adventures. And as always, take care.